For this problem, we are asked for how many grams of aluminum fluoride, which is this formula, could we prepare if we had 18 grams of aluminum. In this case, the only two things in the balanced equation that we need are aluminum and aluminum fluoride. And we can see right away from the balanced equation that these two are equal. We'll still process through the balanced equation step. And if we look at our map, we are going to have to do all three steps. So our aluminum is A. We're given information about aluminum, and we're asked for information about aluminum fluoride in grams. So we'll use step one, the molar mass, to convert grams of aluminum to moles. And then these two are going to be equal. So we'll see that, that the twos also cancel. And then since we're asked for grams of aluminum fluoride, once we have moles, we'll use the molar mass of aluminum fluoride to convert to grams. So if we just get started on that problem, we have 18.5 grams of aluminum. And we look on the periodic table. And aluminum weighs 26.98. So the formula only is where we get that mass. So there's that many grams of aluminum per big fat one mole of aluminum. And now we can go to the periodic table. And there's two, the ratio is two to two. We could put one to one. But I'm always going to consistently put the balanced equation numbers just as they are in the balanced equation. So grams of aluminum cancels grams of aluminum. So this was step one, the molar mass of aluminum. And then we went to step two to convert moles of aluminum to moles of aluminum fluoride. So here's where we change formulas. So again, this is the recipe ratio. And now we're going to have to get out the periodic table and do the molar mass of aluminum fluoride. So one mole of ALF3 is going to be 26.98. We're going to add that to what 3 times fluorine is. And fluorine weighs 19 grams per mole. So when we do that calculation, that comes off the periodic table for aluminum. There's three fluorides. Each fluoride weighs 19. So the number from the calculator always goes with the unit gram. And then that number's still in the calculator, so I'm going to not even multiply by those. I'm going to divide by 26.98 and multiply by 18.5. And when I do that, I get 57.584, blah, blah, blah. We'll round that to three significant figures and call that 57.6. And that would be how many grams of aluminum fluoride we could prepare from 18 grams of aluminum. So this is like going from pounds of flour to cups of flour and then flour in cups to sugar in cups, and then how many, how much does one cup of sugar weigh? So not necessarily making sense, except we can double check and make sure we did things correctly by making sure that all the units cancel. Moles of aluminum cancels moles of aluminum, and aluminum fluoride in moles cancels aluminum fluoride. So again, the only unit that does not cancel ends up over here.